There'll be now an arrest in the deadly abduction and carjacking of a homestead woman in Central Florida. A manhunt underway for another person possibly involved in all of this, who is already saying might have been the last person to speak with her. We've got our local tents, Trent Kelly, live in Homestead with the latest developments on this case. Trent. Yeah, Andrew, you'll remember the victim in this case lived here in this homestead community, but was carjacked and abducted while driving way north of here in the central Florida area. Video of that carjacking, in fact, ended up going viral online. Now, more than a week after that violent confrontation took place, deputies in the central Florida area have now released the names of two people of interest. One of them, they say, already in custody this morning. Family members say Catherine Guerrero de Aguas Vivas was kidnapped and murdered just days before her 32nd birthday. As they continue to grieve, investigators believe they're closer to catching her killer. Jordanish Torres Garcia. Deputies in Central Florida naming two people of interest in the case, including 28-year-old Jordanish Torres Garcia, who's currently under arrest on unrelated drug charges. Authorities now questioning Garcia in connection to that green Acura seen during last week's armed abduction of the South Florida woman near Orlando. They're also highlighting a social media profile picture seen on the right, believing it matches the image of the man seen in that kidnapping video. Det Detectives also naming 27-year-old Giovanni Joel Crespo Hernandez as the other person of interest. Deputies say they found drugs in his home and arrested his girlfriend on trafficking charges. Crespo Hernandez now on the run. The sheriff says the victim's brother also pointed to her phone history, showing Crespo Hernandez was the last person on the phone with Guerrero de Aguas Vivas. Her body later found shot to death in her white SUV, which was set on fire. The Seminole County sheriff also answering the question as to why the victim drove from Homestead to the Orlando area in the first place. Lewis tells us that Giovanni says that Catherine was up here to deliver money and other stuff for a friend. Now, again, I'm not going to speculate. So clearly, even as of this morning, still a lot of questions in this ongoing case. We should tell you that so far, the family members of that victim have not commented prior to these recent developments. By the way, deputies in the Orlando area now say that this murder case could possibly be connected to a second murder case also in the central Florida area. They say the tow truck driver who happened to tow away that green Acura that was seen in that kidnapping video, well, he ended up getting murdered as well by a 10, uh, I should say by a, uh, a high caliber weapon Deputies believe that same weapon might have been used in this murder case involving the woman here from Homestead. So a lot of moving pieces still in this ongoing investigation, and we will keep you updated as soon as we learn more. For now, though, that is the very latest live from Homestead this morning. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.